WTELUS is about ready to raise utility rates for drinking water and sewage treatment. Water rates are supposed to go up 7% and sewer rates 10%. News on 6 reporter Emery Bryan is live with more on that for us tonight. Emery. Well, Scott, Tulsa has four of these sewage treatment plants, and all of the water that's treated in them eventually ends up downstream of here in the Arkansas River. City plans to increase the sewer rates to speed up maintenance on these plants that right now are way behind on upkeep. Tulsa's Northside Wastewater Treatment Plant handles sewage for 200,000 Tulsans. That's 32 million gallons a day, and the wear is showing. Plant managers say 80% of the equipment here is already beyond its expected life. And in many cases, repair parts are no longer available. Uh, we do the best we can to uh, rob from other equipment and to, just to keep them going as long as we can. And, and eventually we just have to put them out of service and, and try to make do. A few replacement projects are underway, like the sludge digestion tank that has been out of service for 20 years. Much of the plant, like these pumps, date back to the 1970s, and each one with valves cost $200,000. To this, that's why the mayor is talking up a rate increase that he says is long overdue. In my view, it does justify a rate increase. Uh, we've had to use borrowed money uh, for the past several years uh, to uh, supplement our uh, lack of money for maintenance. And we're at a point now where we can't borrow anymore. I mean, it's just not very smart to do that. Well, Tulsa's water treatment system is working fine now. It is often at the edge of capacity, and much of the equipment is approaching the end of its lifespan. The coming rate increase will help catch up on the maintenance backlog. The sewer rates will go up 10% in October if the city council approves the change. It would allow the city to start replacing critical equipment. And this is a similar situation to the streets. It's, a, it's either a pay me now or pay me later situation. We must maintain this system or we're going to have to, to rebuild the plants entirely. Well, we've posted a map showing which plant handles your neighborhood. You might be surprised to see how big of an area each one covers. And of course, that makes each one critical because there is no backup for each one of these plants. That, uh, just look for that uh, map on this story at newson6.com. Reporting live, Emory Bryan, the News on 6. Well,